I probably need to r rescue, what, five, six more? Uh, so he pointed me the direction of, of the, the 12 cars that he had, and I'm kind of like, well, it's a little bit before my time. You got anything more recent? And he points me at the unopened boxes from this current year's tops, and I'm like, that's not really what I wanted either. Those those aren't really worth the paper they're printed on most of the time, unless you find you know, a, a good card. You know, you find a guy that got called up mid-season up in there. How many more? I need five more. Yeah, most baseball cards are crap. They're worth like five cents. They're they're not good. Um, all right, one, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Yes, I'll let you out. How's that? Return to Qualquick for my reward. I have fully deserved that because I went out of my way to help these people. Obviously, I believe there are actually more than uh, however many you need to sell it. Uh, save. I think there's 15 that you need to save in total, and they give you like 25. <laughs> like, we'll still find them somewhere around here. Uh, so, yeah, I ended up just leaving that place. He couldn't help me. And I ended up going to a serious place, and um, he, had, he had plaques all over the wall of autographed uh, both. Ooh. I am overburdened. That's right. Alright, back to town. I need to empty out my cube anyway. Uh, so I ended up going to that place. He had signed plaques on the wall, all different kinds of uh, athletes, not just uh, Good to see you. baseball players. He had baseball players, but you know he also had basketball, football, boxing, and all that kind of stuff. So I knew I was in the right Can place. I help you? Asked him for Ken Griffey Jr.'s autograph. He unfortunately didn't have it. So then I'm standing there, staring at his Ken Griffey Jr. cards. And uh, I don't know, 15 bucks for for a King Griffey Jr. card. I mean, it's a really nice card. And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I have Griffey cards at home. What the hell am I doing thinking about buying them here? I'm, I'm leaving. What the? Ah, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Give me that Jared Stone. I want to sell it. It's not that great, though. I'm not that, I'm not that impressed by it. It doesn't have anything... Yeah, it doesn't have any plus to any stats. So what's the point? What is the point of it? Uh... So I ended up not getting any sports things, unfortunately. I think I got a case cover though, but that hardly counts. Hello. Case for my uh, for my phone. No. Okay. Just double checking. Uh, I doubt they're gonna give me anything better than what I got, but you never know. Plus two to bone wall. <laughs> I hate bone wall. Let's move on though. We need to head back this way. Oh, I also mentioned that I went the, the the comic book store that I went to, um, where I, where I bought the uh, where where I bought Oregon. Um, they said that they were having a, a free comic book giveaway on uh, of Mayo on May fifth, and so I went in, and the place was packed. And unfortunately, they had already given out all their, uh... God, get in position for me. They had already given out all their free comics by the time that I showed up. Uh, but they still had the, the artists there. Unfortunately, I, you know, I know nothing about these, these artists. They, they even had the names of the comics that they had written for. Like, Yo Gabba Gabba. The guy from Yo Gabba Gabba was there. I, I know nothing about that show, uh, other than uh, my my coworkers kids watch it. <laughs> they seem to love Yo Gabba Gabba for whatever reason. But I'm kind of like I I'm sorry I got kind of so yeah I didn't even really talk to them or anything. Uh, and then I walk outside and there's a furry outside and I'm like okay at that uh, now I know I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Unfortunately I I do understand furries, I just uh, don't want to walk up and talk to them all the time. Even though that's kind of why they're in the costume, isn't it? So that they can be social. <laughs> I'm kind of like, yeah, you're kind of scaring me off, actually. It was a girl, too. I, I, I could hear her talking under there. So, yeah, that was that was that day. That was a, that was a weird day. Uh, come on. I swore I was like through all this, but then they just keep on showing up. It's 
rear flam burge, not worth it for me, I don't care how many sockets it's on. I think I heard a charm. Nice. I can't carry any. Uh yes, you can. And then I found the jewel. 28% extra gold, that's not bad. And one to two fire damage. That's crap. That's nothing. So it's been an interesting couple weeks for me, but I have had a good day today. I did have a. Uh, I actually recorded some uh, Morrowind earlier today. And that, was, that was good and fun. I know uh, not 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 most of you, <laughs> not many of you. Many of you do not watch uh, the Morrowind Let's Play. I I get that. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, it's going a little bit slower than I had thought, and. Um, it, it, it's hard not to let it show that uh, I'm not as enthusiastic with the game. But I try not to talk about it too much. I try not to give you false impressions of the game. I, I'm still having fun with it, uh, but I don't know. I was, I was, I was expecting a little more. It's still fun, though. Still fun. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't be doing it. God, get away from me. But, but like I said, I've always enjoyed Let's Playing. I enjoy it more than just playing the game normally. Let me tell you, especially when I'm like doing things off screen for for Let's Plays, it's not nearly as fun. Not even close. Uh, I'm gonna have to do so much stuff for Super Meat Boy Chrono Trigger look coming up. I might not have any uh, Diablo 3 videos up for for a little while while I've while I work on uh, Super Meat Boy and Super Meat Boy and, and Chrono Trigger because I do have to do so much off-screen content for that. Um, I'm gonna start editing a little bit more on Super Meat Boy, so it might take me easily a couple hours to get one video worth worth of footage now, the way that I'm planning to edit it, and uh, that might be well horrible for me. But I th that's probably another week or two down the line. I, I used to do that kind of stuff with uh, World of Goo, but uh, we're not talking the same ratio of, uh, you know, time it actually took me playing it and recording to, to finish product. With uh, World of Goo, we were talking about maybe uh, three to one um, with Super Meat Boy. I'm easily looking at four to five to one. Depending on how quickly I can get through a level. Alright, back to town it is. Got another level up though, that's always nice. Let's see, I'm level 30 now. Um, I wish they would tell me my bait. Okay, so I got plus 6 there. So that's 55. 54. How, many, how much more bonus to strength am I getting? Am I over 50 already? It looks like I'm over 50 already, and 50 was my goal, so I'm just going to go with uh, 1 to, to Dexterity and then 4 to Vitality. And then for skills, we're going to put another one into Concentration, of course, because <laughs> that is the aura that I'm constantly using. Okay, uh... Hello. let's go back here, go over there. Uh, so that's uh, basic. Basically, what I look at when when I Afternoon. determine how long the videos are going to be for... I didn't even check those. That was my problem. When I look at how long the videos are going to be, it's pretty much how much time did I invest into it compared to how long I want the vi you know, how long I want it to last, so... If I do, you know, three hours worth of, uh... worth of gameplay, I want that to last, you know, at least two or three videos, but that's not always the case. Let's do the Blessed Hammer, 5% mana stolen per hit. Damn it! Why do you do this to me, game? Why do you do this? Okay. This is going to be my new secondary. Um, yeah, the percent stolen per hit, I believe, is going to be more beneficial than the uh, mana to each kill. I could be wrong. I don't know that for sure. Okay, so we are done looking for bl for for scepters anymore. We're done with that. What are they called? War scepters. There we go. <laughs> forgot the name for a second. Oh, I need to return to Qual Qualkeck for my reward. I almost forgot. Qualkeck. Thank you for rescuing my men. 
They have spoken well of your bravery in battle. Perhaps there is hope for us after all. If you wish, you may hire some of my mercenaries that you saved. And please, take this set of runes. I had been saving them for a socketed shield, but I think you'll make better use of them. Be sure to set them in the right order for their fullest effect. And that's the closest you're going to get to find out about rune, rune words, I swear. I mean, that's so incredibly vague. What, what did he give us? He gave us Ort, Ral, and Tal. That does sound familiar, to be honest with you. Ort, Ral... No, not a Ral. Uh, Tal and Ort can go into a shield, but um, Ral doesn't go into it. So, we got a pretty good reward, I might say. Three runes. Three good runes. I think we have seen them all before, though. Uh, Ort, I do need to hold on to at least one Ort. Uh, and then, I don't think the rest of them I can do anything with, unfortunately. So it looks like we're gonna have to, uh... Have to bring stuff out again. Um... You know, it's only my second tier. As far I had more than that. Ah, uh, I need to group this a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh! Forgot about you. How could I forget about you? There we go. Okay. What is that? Uh, I might as well sell those. I'm not going to be using them. Alright, let's, uh... Sell that. Sell that. Give myself at least a little bit more room here. I might end up putting those in the cube so I have more working space outside of it, but I, I don't want to do that just yet. So was I talking about? Oh yes, uh, so recording versus video. Like. For games, you know, that I have to cut out a lot of content, it's a lot harder for me to do um, longer videos, you know, if we're talking about uh, maybe a 15 minute video for a game where I'd have to do a lot of cutting, like Chrono Trigger, or Final Fantasy, or, or you know, any of the RPGs like that. It's hard for me to... Well, for 15 minutes, we're, we're easily talking a half hour to, to 40 minutes. Um, the exception to that was Xenogears, because there was just so many cutscenes that I literally had entire videos where it was just one long cutscene and uh, entire videos. But not much happened. I didn't have to cut anything out, ever. And that's what I'm doing with, with Diablo 2 now. Just no cuts ever, pretty much, anymore. Uh, due to requests. I haven't gotten any complaints, which I'm actually kind of surprised about. Uh, that I wasn't continuing to, to cut out uh, trips back to town. But everybody does seem to like it. That I'm keeping it in, so I'll keep it in, no problem. Uh, it, uh, like I said, I, I can only guess to what you guys want. I can't... I, I can't guess right all the time, though, so... Always, always feel free to tell me what you guys like, what you'd like to see more of. Uh, I just ask that if you're doing that, that you keep it on time with that kind of stuff. If you're, you know, three or four videos behind, or you, you ask something that I can't do, then, then we might start having problems. Uh, I have had people tell me before that I need to restart a Let's Play due to something I did in the first video that they didn't like, and I, and I looked at them and I go, you realize that I'm over 50 parts in now, right? I'm not restarting it for you. They, then they get all mad. I was like, oh, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know that there were 50 parts of this? You could have looked before you said that I need to restart the, the series. I think I've had somebody tell me about half the, the Let's Plays that I've done, I need to restart them for one reason or another. You, you learn not to listen to them, but y you also learn to laugh at a lot of them. You just got to be serious, dude. <laughs> Uh, one guy said I need to restart Xenogears, if you guys haven't watched the Xenogears. That's 189 parts long. 
And I'm pretty proud of what I did with that. I'm, I'm def definitely proud of that. And I, I do love that Let's Play. And I was told I needed to restart it and do it completely silent. Uh, where I just don't talk over it because I was ruining it. Oh, we got more of these guys. Have we seen... We have seen these guys, haven't we? That's where we have. Yeah, I'm thinking about the... Uh, I can't carry anymore. The nightmare guy that I got going now. Grim Lawn sucks. Uh, because when I went with him, literally did not see any of those guys for a long time. Uh, entering the Ariat Plateau. I don't know if you guys saw the Bane Wing there. Uh, the Berserked. Um, I don't even know what they're called. Crack Zombie Head, how are you? You're pretty good. Um, but yeah, I was told that I owed it to the Xenogears community uh, to, to redo the Let's Play. And keep in mind, I'm over a hundred parts in when I'm told this. And I needed to do it completely silent because he doesn't like the sound of my voice. And I'm like, then go away. There are silent Let's Plays out there. They're called walkthroughs. If you call it a Let's Play, though, it implies that I'm going to be talking. I made no mistake about that. I call it a let's play. But yeah, some people, they just never learn. They just never learn. And the internet won't teach them. There we go. There's a there's a, a berserk. A sl yeah, I think it's Berserker Slayer. I think they're technically called Berserk Slayer. I oh, don't know. It's hard to get a good read on them because once, once they turn into Berserker Slayer. There we go. Because once you see them, they usually die. Bane's popping on me. You don't need to be too scared about them. Uh, in uh, in normal mode, in the higher difficulties, you do. You should start running from them when you see them. They do stop when they uh, when right before they explode, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get out of range of them. Uh, as you can see there, I was very close, and I got a swing in before I started running. Still doesn't do that much damage to me. Though. Nothing particularly good there. Uh, like I said, you, you learn as a Let's Player to have a thick skin. You have to. Uh, a lot of the comments that you get are just plain awful. <laughs> but you learn uh, to, to not look at those so much. Look at the positive ones. I am overburdened. I don't even have room for a scroll of identify. What do you got? Mana Recharge Shrine. Sure, who else is going to be using it? So, it does exactly what you think it would do. It recharges your mana. And of course, as soon as I get it, we find the waypoint. So it's back to town, because I can. Uh, you learn... Good evening. Anytime you're on the internet. Now, if you take things seriously, you're going to have to be able evening. to accept criticism of it. And by criticism, I mean flaming about it. Not only people uh, saying that it's bad. Ooh. No. That's good. Yeah, how much? Yeah, seven. <laughs> Six poison damage over three seconds. I'll put that. When did dexterity poison? Yeah. Put that there and sell that one off. If you take something seriously, you're gonna have to learn to accept criticism of it and have people tell you that there it's the worst thing ever. There is a which I hesitate to share, but I believe you are the only one who can help me now. Anya, the young alchemist and daughter to one of our slain elders, has been missing for some time. She is a strong, crafty woman with a spirit like no other. One night, just before your arrival, I overheard her and Nilathak arguing about her father's death. The next morning, she was gone. Nilathak has his own tale as to where she went and why. Don't believe him. I fear he's at the root of her disappearance. Please, if you can, search for Anya and bring her back to us. She'll know what to do about Nilathak. 
Sorry about cutting her off a little bit. I didn't realize she uh, was going to give us a quest, but she'll realize once we get to area Plateau that she has a quest to give us. What am I even talking to her for? She's not going to have anything better for me. She's not going to have anything better. All right, let's... Uh, I don't think I put anything into the cube. I did. So that could be sold. <laughs> Requirements minus 30. <laughs> That's not good for anybody. All right, so we need to go under the crystalline passage by the frozen river. We can do that. We can easily do that. We need to head back over here, though, back to... Yeah, it's the next place, obviously, so that is our next destination. It's that way, just like everything else is that way. Uh, but, yeah, you, you learn to, to take criticism as you go along through that. Through your experience on the internet, if you can't, if you can't, honestly, if you can't accept uh, that kind of criticism, people telling you that it's the worst thing they've ever read, seen, uh, heard, stuff like that, don't post it. <laughs> no, just, just don't, just don't let them see it because they will. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. They will say it, and it'll it'll stick in your mind. I, you know, as long as long as you read it, it's it's gonna be there in your head. As much as you try to say no, 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 no I won't even notice it. You notice it, and occasionally it gets to you. And that's why sometimes if I misconstrue what you say <laughs> in a comment. I might, uh, I might say something bad to you, and I apologize for that. And my tone might be a little off, but that's because, you know, maybe I've been dealing with bad comments all day on some old videos or something. If you comment on an old video, chances are I'm going to think that you said something bad. Even if you didn't. Even if you said something nice. Uh, but you said it sarcastically, or you were commenting on something that I say in the video. Sarcastically, I'm doing a lot of it. Oh, damn, look at all that sh shiny shit up there. What do we got? We got exploding things all up in my face. I'm taking bigger things to the face before. Get, don't run. I'm trying to hit you with a hammer. Die. Get over here, champion. What kind of champion runs? Alright. And come on, down he goes, down he goes, come on, down he goes, there you go. Took long enough. They didn't drop anything good. Now I'm disappointed. But yeah, th the old videos especially. <laughs> but I do. That's why I usually appreciate my my subscribers, people that keep up. You don't always have to keep up with all my videos. I don't expect it. I, I don't demand it. I know some people get real pissed when you do, but. Or when you don't keep up, uh, but you know, I just if if you're gonna give me a, a comment telling me I need to learn something or or I should do something, make sure <laughs> that I haven't already gone over that or go over that that video because that's happened I think a couple times. I'm like, what? Did did you watch the video? <laughs> I swear I went over that. But sometimes I'm wrong, you know, sometimes I'm thinking of a different video, I don't have time to go back. So I know I'm a horrible person. I don't have my videos all memorized. There's too many. There's too damn many. But enough about that. We are still playing Diablo 2, damn it. I need to talk about the game at least a little bit. These guys are just so freaking annoying that I'm trying to take my mind off of it and because they are annoying me, I, my mind goes to other annoyances. Uh, like when you're uh, in a parking lot and you start to, to, to veer out just a little bit, just to pull out just a little bit. And then somebody just goes, fuck it, I can make it behind them and zooms right behind you and you have to stop. Yeah, that sucks. Where is Al Hazir? Like, did he die? No, he's just hanging out over there. I'm starting to run my own health because he wasn't curing me. Alright, what's in the Avenger Guard then? Avenger Guard! Nothing. When did I pick up arrows and why? Uh, I don't think I have anything in there yet, so let's go ahead and pick up the broad axe. That's still pretty good. My health was starting to get low while he's here. 
because you are not healing me constantly. Get back here and heal me constantly. Yeah, I hate it when, uh... Because that, I swear that happens, like, every time that this part of my, you know, just start pulling out. I can't see anything back there. I don't see anybody. I actually got honked at once because they wanted to get behind me and, and zoom by me. I'm like, I'm already halfway pulled out when you decided that you wanted to go by, and somehow this is my fault. I had already stopped anyway. <laughs> but whatever. Bad drivers are everywhere. And we still need to go uh, up here. We are getting closer. Once we're sh once we're through that, it's. Uh, I thought we were. That was it, right there. I that was the top, but I was wrong. Damn, there's a lot of gold in here. I will. I will loot it after I kill all you guys. And I, I don't care how long I stand in the fire in order to get it. it. Separates the men from the boys. Fire. Ooh, there's a scythe too. How'd that get in there? I don't care. Don't care. Kick the jaws. Nice. Flawed ruby. Sweet. So we need to to continue going up this way. Here's another, uh, like whatever Deckard Cain was in, whatever they called it then. There's another one. <laughs> 